Good morning to each and every one of you who has tuned in to Rhapsody of Realities. Hallelujah! Today is May the 3rd and our man of God would like to share a message entitled Tell the Glorious News. Hallelujah! Our opening scriptures is from the book of Matthew chapter 28 verses 5 to 6 and I read And the angel answered and said unto the women, Fear not ye. For I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. He is not here, for he is risen, as he said. Come, see the place where the Lord lay. Hallelujah! If you truly believe in what Jesus Christ did for you, if you believe that his work of salvation was important, and that you actually received that salvation, you cannot keep it to yourself. He said in the book of Mark chapter 16 verse 15, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Those are our marching orders. You have to tell others about Jesus. You can win at least one soul before the end of this week. Plan for it. Pray specially about it. There are still many who don't know what Jesus came to do. They are not aware that he came as their substitute. They are not aware he already saved them from the punishment as well as the life and nature of sin. The world needs to hear this truth. But the question, according to Romans 10 verse 14 is, How can they hear without a preacher? That is why each one of us must be personal about the Great Commission. Preach the gospel with greater fervency, especially as we prepare ourselves and others for the coming of the Lord. Do not relent in your efforts. Seek out the loss. Those hopeless and confused in your world and let them know there is salvation in Christ Jesus. Let them know eternal life, fellowship with God, a life of peace, righteousness, eternal glory and prosperity are now both possible and available in Christ Jesus. Tell others this glorious news. Hallelujah. Now, my brothers and sisters, kindly raise your hand and take this prayer right after me. Dear Father, your love compels me to intercede and preach the gospel to the lost, bringing them out of darkness into your marvelous light. I celebrate the glorious works of salvation and the inextricable oneness and sweet fellowship, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ has brought me into. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hallelujah. Now, my brothers and sisters, I do recommend that you take some time today to study these following scriptures. From the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 4, verse 2, and from the book of Romans, chapter 10, verses 13 to 15. Hallelujah. Now you know what you have to do. Go ahead and spread the gospel. For the gospel is the good news. Hallelujah. Don't forget to click subscribe. Don't forget to share this beautiful gospel to your world. And tune in again tomorrow for another glorious message from our man of God, Pastor Chris Oyakilome. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us 
at tni.msia at gmail.com. That's tni.msia at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.